We're here with Corey S Sullivan, Wake Forest Sports Hall of Fame inductee for 2013. Corey, uh, tell us, what was your very first impression of Wake Forest? Uh, to be honest, I came on a recruiting trip in uh, 1999. I was out of junior college, and I loved how beautiful the campus was. Uh, I thought it was incredibly picturesque, and I was excited to be a part of it. Is there any uh, person on campus here who is most influential on your career as a student athlete? I would say my teammates, you know, they pushed me to be as good as I could and uh, help me develop, you know, a camaraderie. There are three of them that are here tonight to help honor it. And uh, I'm just incredibly grateful and thankful for them. Is there a particular faculty or staff member who is a great influence on you during your undergrad? Uh, there were quite a few teachers. Uh, it'd be tough to name them, but one of my coaches, Coach Rick, he was, uh, he was very helpful, helped guide me, helped teach me the right way to do things, to go about my business as a professional. And I was very grateful for that. Talk about your playing career at Wake Forest. What are some of your favorite moments? Obviously, the ACC championship in 2001 was a big win. I just, all the games, I loved everything about playing here. I liked how small the community was, but it felt like family. And like I said, my brothers, my teammates. Okay. Uh, in the years since you've left, was there one piece of information or one experience you had here at Wake Forest that has carried with you and guided you through your career? I'd have to think about that for a sec. I'd, I'd say, you know, just trying to, to treat my teammates like brothers and respect them the way I want them to respect me. And it's something that I learned here. You know, you spend eight months in professional baseball with your teammates, and they become your brothers. You bicker, you fight, and most of all, you have to respect each other and hope and hold each other accountable, and that's a big deal. What was your reaction upon learning you were going into the Wake Forest Hall of Fame? Uh, I was surprised. Uh, I was only here for two years. Uh, it was a great two years, and the team was, was very good then. But it's an incredible honor to be bestowed, to have my name along with Brian Piccolo, you know, Arnold Palmer, um, Jay Haas. I'm assuming Bill Haas, who is a friend of mine, will be in so shortly. Uh, if not, I'll vote him in. Um, other than that, it's just an incredible honor. It's anytime you're, you're recognized for what you've done is an honor. but. To be in such a short list, it's, it's amazing. That's it's humbling. Corey. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. No, that's fine. That's Corey Sullivan, Wake Forest Sports Hall of Fame inductee 2013. Corey Sullivan. Believe it or not, Corey is the first Hall of Famer from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And the reason I say that that's unusual is that Pittsburgh has produced the second most Hall of Famers for the Wake Forest Sports Hall of Fame than any other state. Did I say Pittsburgh? Well, you know what I mean. Pittsburgh's in that other state, P Pennsylvania. <laughs> Corey came to Wake Forest from Cypress Junior College in California. He was third team All-American in 2000. He was the first team All-American in 2001. He was a second team all ACC as an outfielder in 2000. He was a first team all ACC outfielder and second team pitcher in 2001. Corey didn't come to Wake Forest as a pitcher. He came as a hitter and outfielder. But when we needed someone to pitch, we knew that Corey Sullivan had a great arm and he became a dominant pitcher in our rotation and as a short reliever as well. He was an All-ACC Tournament team member in 2001. In the 2001 ACC Championship game, he was a starting pitcher and pitched eight innings to earn the win. In that same game, he went three for three with two home runs, three runs scored, and five RBIs. Just an incredible, incredible championship game. He was a career 382 hitter at Wake Forest. In the history of Wake Forest baseball, dating, dating back to 1891, and including over 2,000 players, only three players have had 100 hits in a season. Corey Sullivan is one of those players. He hit 533 in the NCAA Regional in 2000 and was named to the all-regional team. He was not he was not recruited as a pitcher, as I said, but he ended up being a dominant pitcher. Against UNC in his first college pitching start, he led off the game with, Corey, a home run. 
He was drafted by the Colorado Rockies in 2001, and he played Major League Baseball with Colorado from 2005 to 2008, with the New York Mets in 2009, and with the Houston Astros in 2010. He spent six years in the major leagues, and he's always been a tremendous credit to our university and to our baseball program. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the next member of the Wake Forest Hall of Fame, Corey Sullivan. Mm. I gotta be honest, after Jenny went, I was sitting back there and I was like, God, let it be Josh. God, let it be Josh. <laughs> then you went and made it worse. <laughs> it's terrible. I, you know, I'm listening to all the accolades that everybody at the inductees is getting read tonight and I'm kind of thinking to the hall committee, really, are you sure with me? Because I'm pretty sure everybody else was a little bit better. You know, I wanna thank the Hall of Fame committee. Um, I wanna thank Mr. Wellman and uh, all of his staff. I'd like to thank my former coaches, Coach Miranda, Coach Greer, Coach Rick, for giving me the opportunity to get educated here and to play here. I'd like to thank my parents for letting me chase my dream. I'd like to thank my friends. I hope I can have that same conversation about 50 years, 40 years from now. Everybody kind of stole a little piece of everybody's speech, but you know, I just want to say that it is an incredible honor and incredible humbling to be mentioned now in the same sentence with names like Brian Piccolo and Arnold Palmer and all the other existing members. Uh, thank you for that. Um, I'd like to say congratulations to the other inductees. You know, you're all incredibly deserving. Uh, it's, it's a great honor to be mentioned in the same sentence with you guys. Um, and I'd just like to say thank you to all you guys for being here. It's, it's a great honor. Thank you.